Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel. In today's video, we're going to be giving you a six month update on the Volvo S80. So for those of you who don't know, I've now owned this car for six months now. It's a 2009 Volvo S80 D5. Um, so I bought the car at auction uh, for j just over £1,500 and um, I've been slowly sort of restoring it, making it how I want it to be. Um, so in this video, I'm going to be giving you basically a lowdown of everything that I've done um, and anything that needs to be done as well, and as well as running costs. And Bob is going to make an appearance as well. So um, yeah, let's get into it. So like I said, guys, I bought this in January um, 2020 for £1,500 at an auction. Um, it wasn't without its faults. Uh, it had quite a bit of damage on the front here um, and apparently it had no service history. Uh, so not long after buying the car and getting it, um, I found out that the car did have actually quite a lot of service history and um, it turns out that it was a, a very, very well looked after car. Um, in terms of spec, it's the 205 horsepower um, D5 engine, so it's almost the penultimate generation before they made them the two liters. Um, this one's got the Polestar package on it, so it's actually running 245 horsepower. Um, it's just denoted on the small blue badge there, so it's a proper little Q car. Um, 0 to 60, Bob's a fan, is about about seven seconds, which is really, really quick um, for something the size of this um, it's about 4.8 meters long so it's an absolute tank to try and park and believe it or not the previous owner um, decided to spec it without um, parking sensors so yeah that's taken some getting used to but I'm getting there um, after six months of driving so in that six months I've put on about um, 8,000 miles on the car uh, so we've just gone a hair over 89,000 and um, it hasn't Mr. Beat, it's been absolutely fantastic the whole way through. Um, I'll go through all sort of the numbers and everything like that uh, in terms of running costs shortly. But um, in terms of what I've had to do with the car, when I got it, it became pretty clear that the uh, near side shock, rear shock absorber was gone. Um, I'll, actually, I'll take you around that side. So I set about getting that replaced. Um, initially, I thought I was going to just it was just going to be a simple shop replacement for a few hundred quid and um we could get it sorted but actually it turns out that it's got the self-leveling automatic suspension um and the shock absorbers for those is about 550 pounds so i in the end had to bite the bullet and paid that um to have that replaced and i'm not joking it was well worth its weight in gold um given the fact that i'd only paid 1500 pounds for the car um 500 pounds um seems like a lot but actually when you can see these cars are probably worth about five grand now on the used market two grand into a car like this is nothing um, it was well under budget so we were definitely um winning still um initially as well we had to replace an engine mount and what i'll do is i'll pop the bonnet and show you guys where that was oh, i would help if i unlock the car um keys and everything have been fantastic we've had no issues with those uh, which is great it's probably gonna i'm gonna adjust my seat no no that's all right then um so yeah we'll open the open the bonnet and show you guys the engine mount that i replaced it's called the upper engine torque mount and it's quite a common um, thing for these volvos to go um it's this bit here and essentially what happens is this rubber bushing um, just perishes, it gets old and it um, just becomes crap. And as you can see, this one is now nice and intact. So um, yeah, that's definitely a bonus in terms of um, things like that. Um, everything else in the engine has been absolutely fine. I've done an oil change uh, with that myself. Um, I discovered that the cam belt had been changed as well, twice um, already. Uh, this was the first time at 69,000 miles. Um, and then there was a receipt in the service package that said it had been done at 75,000 miles as well, which again is excellent. It's been a right little diamond in the rough, this car. Um, 
in terms of running costs, like I said, I mentioned earlier, um, it was £270 to tax, uh, which I, I pay it monthly, so it's £20 a month to tax, um, which isn't bad at all. Um, I had to repair one of the headlights. This headlight had actually broken off of the adjustment um, I suppose you could call it the adjustment mechanism so essentially this headlight was pointing downwards so um i just got some super glue and just stuck it back together it's quite a quite a simple little thing i didn't expect it to work but it did as you can see that is now nicely um working so that's an mot pass as well um then for 300 pounds i've also replaced the entire front bumper um that was sort of a freak accident really sheer luck that i happened to log into ebay and find one um bumper that was the same color same spec everything so i ordered that um it's actually from a 2013 car but um it was able to fit straight onto this 2009 so it was a pre-facelift luckily um so that that looks really good now so for two well just over two thousand pounds we've got ourselves a nice really tidy um volvo s80 so um i'm really happy with that interior wise um the comfort on this car is absolutely sublime um it has been truly fantastic the whole like just sitting in it it is absolutely gorgeous um the leather is actually lasting pretty well uh, we've got not much where you can see a bit but you'd expect that on a car that's got eighty-nine thousand miles on it um interior is wearing really nicely as you can see there's no real um, major bits the steering wheel's all in good, good condition and everything like that um and i'm actually finding a lot of the people a lot of the initial reviews on this car complained about all of this these buttons excuse the rubbish down there all of these buttons saying how they were they were clunky and everything like that but i'm actually finding them to be a much better experience than most other cars um, purely because you don't bother using them um is this this car seems to focus you on the driving much more there's much less to be distracted by than say in this in the a class or the x3 there so i find i'm actually much more concentrating and focused and just relaxed um to be honest there's no displays in your face it's sort of an optional thing um you've also got the the gps that comes up is the volvo rti system um to be honest it's not the best system um so i tend to just keep it folded down um it's just sort of a bit of a party trick when i bring it up so um yeah from that point of view uh the interior has been really good um it's, i think it's actually aging really well um yeah it's there's not much else you can really say to that it's just a high quality volvo interior nothing's breaking um which is nice the automatic transmission again has been hasn't missed a beat um touch wood um it's the acin tf um atsc so it's the torque converter six speed um geartronic gearbox and yeah i must say it's lovely it's lovely and smooth um the a class in front of me here that's got a dual clutch and i massively prefer this engine the the gear shifts aren't as smooth but just the way that it just it just the way it goes about business is just a much more it just feels much more solid um so i've been really really happy with the automatic gearbox it's the first ever automatic that i've owned so um it was a bit of a a shock um or uh, a learning curve but i've actually really enjoyed it and i don't think i'd be probably going to back to manual anytime soon um heated seats on this car are absolutely awesome um they literally you stick them on and in probably a minute your, your ass is burning so um yeah it's a nice nice place to be inside um, back seats as well i've had nothing but good reviews um as you can see this is a well used car currently got mountain biking gear in here because i've taken it mountain biking a few times and i'll talk about that shortly um leather in the back as well it's doing really well um we've got i always keep the armrest down um uh, just sort of gives it a more luxurious feel but um yeah um i've spent a few more quid on the car had a tow bar fitted so i can take mountain bikes so i've got a five bike rack um, from Tule, which is almost like it was made made for this car it fits it really well mounts on the tow bar there that was i think it's 180 quid um which again is awesome um some say it does ruin the look of the car uh, especially because this car is quite nice quite nice looking from the back 
with the twin pipes i'd definitely say um it's just worth having it i'm not too worried about the fact that i've got a tow bar sticking out the back um so yeah in terms of boot space i won't open the boot because i've got loads of stuff in there but it's it's massive it's literally from here to here so um yeah that's that's been awesome but yeah, like i said in terms of running costs and um, fuel economy the car's currently averaging 38.7 um, miles per gallon and that is done on a mixture of both well, it's, it's pretty much all on a roads um, I've done a couple of recent journeys on the motorway um, and it has returned much better fuel economy on there um, we'll be looking at probably 45 50 um, on sort of a motorway cruise so uh, yeah so that's six months with the volvo s80 i'm not planning on selling it at all um to be honest it's one of my favorite cars i've ever owned um it's nice and fast it's discreet comfortable it's sort of everything that you could ever want in a car um it's a car that i sort of want to stick as many miles on as possible and actually my girlfriend who drives the a-class she loves it so um yeah that's that's just a quick six month update guys thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video cheers